Hello, I'm Robert from Diverse Local Products and um, I'm going to show you how to set up, use and maintain your multi-slicing machine. As you can see, the multi-slicing machine here is already set up. Now when you receive your machine, uh, it will be in two parts, in two boxes. One, the table with the pump bucket stirrer unit in the same box. What we need to do is to fasten the top section, which is actually in another box, to the table. Um, it's important the table actually has a slight lean for the draining of the abrasives back into the stirrer unit. There are a couple of, there are actually four fastening points, two at the front and two at the back. And these are also rubber shock absorbers, which help to reduce vibration and to keep uh, the, the vibration of the unit and noise of the unit down as well. Now you can see here on the ground there is uh, four uh, felts and the felts uh, will actually help to reduce vibration as well. On the back of the table there is actually an adjustable leg. Now this adjustable leg has a, 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 a wind in, wind out um, bolt which will actually help you to stabilize this unit. Now what I want to do is to actually show you the workings inside of this machine so that if and when you need to replace anything you will understand what they are and the purpose that they serve. So if you come over now we'll have a look inside. Now we'll just take off the hose for the pumping unit. And take off the splash guard. Now here we have the spring units which actually cause the table to move backwards and forwards. These are spring steel, these are replaceable and at some stage one or both may break. There are actually two springs on each corner of the table. There's one here, there's two here, two here and two also on each corner of the back as well. So we actually have eight springs in total if in the event that one of these breaks you can still cut on one spring but it will just uh, place more load on the on the spring that's remaining so they may break and they are re this is the blade that's going to be used for slicing your mother of pearl this will govern the length and also the width okay we've finished sawing the um, the mother of pearl and we've got a fairly uniform size pieces okay as I said we're trying to achieve uh, a uniform thickness of mother of pearl so that we're not going to be spending uh, wasting wasting time and wasting material okay now you can see that we've ground most of the mother of pearl into a uniform thickness um, for the sake of this particular exercise I'm not going to grind all the pieces as flat as this uh, it just will involve too much wastage and too much time so for the sake of the exercise you can see what I'm talking about in trying to get uniform thickness or getting close to being hot so let's start with the process of preparing this I'll just light up the torch hopefully so we're just going to make sure that this is in fact warm which it is quite warm so what we start to do now is we use the heat and we're going to cover the entire surface of this with melted wax we're going to pre prepare this it's going to be a, 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 um, a base for the actual uh, mother of pearl to sit in so, uh, you'll see a bit of runoff that doesn't matter there's no no drama but it's important that we get a total covering of wax now as you can see I'm actually going to put on the last piece and we've been fortunate enough to be able to to get a, a reasonable coverage on this piece of glass um, as you can see all these pieces are actually still um, we're able to move them because the wax is still hot and this is an important phase now because 
uh, once the the wax cures um, hopefully uh, it won't move anymore so the remote of pearl which is still warm and put it directly onto here now it's you can see it's actually sticking on there and uh, once again it's important that we try to get the um, everything into a, a square position so that it's it's this is sitting if I can just quickly pick it up which is very hot you can see that the plate in fact needs to be square on what we call this is actually called a H block we want it to be square on there so it's important that while we while it's still warm we can in fact maneuver everything around to be square on the H block okay now I want to talk about our pumping unit this will be pumping the silicon carbide grit with water up over your uh, mother of pearl on the multi slicing machine um, this unit has is actually a dual purpose machine uh, pump uh, it's been custom made to actually agitate or to stir the grit in the water uh, the, the grit in the water come up through the impeller and are pumped up through this hosing up to the top of the machine the H block the glass plate and the mother of pearl are now firmly in place they've been bolted in place and what I wanted to do now is talk about the actual uh, blade that we're going to use and the conversion block that actually holds it in place just quickly the blade is made up of multiple singular blades and spaced by individual spaces now this blade has already been used twice um, you can use the blades multiple times uh, this blade will probably be good for approximately four maybe five cuts depending upon the height of the material that you're cutting so let's look at the way it goes together the conversion block the blade slides in there this end and this end and we'll put that in here drops it in the back it can only go in one way because this is where the locating bolt is at this end yes what's important is that the blade is square and we can look we can actually look as a guide between here and here as to whether or not it's square we don't want the blade looking like that because we're not going to get a straight cut so it's important that we look down the blade and ensure that the blade is in fact covering the mother of pearl underneath and now we've got the the blade in place we were talking about this before we have the tension applied we've leveled it out uh, via use of the screws on the side now if you listen you can hear a uniform sound if that's not a uniform sound it, it doesn't sound like an even uh, an even sound so it's important that you take measurements if, if necessary between this side here and the inside of the cradle both there and there just to make sure that the blade is in there square so it's all been in place now it's taken a, a, a few more minute, minutes than I expected but now we are ready for the cut now what's important at this particular point in time is that we start the machine start the pumping unit first the grit will come from the pumping unit and start to run over the blades what we'll do then is we'll turn the machine on itself and start to cut so we can see that the grit is now flowing over the blades it's running return via the return line back into the into the bucket and the next thing for us to do is to turn the machine on
Uh, you've just seen the cut now progressing. It's been going for about 45 minutes and you can see through the top of the blade sections of the mother of pearl starting to come through. So that's, that's representing 45 minutes of cutting. up to five hours now what you've just seen on the uh, slicing machine is how far we've cut or how much material the depth of the cut that we've been able to make in this five hour period so it's very close to five hours uh, as you can see the cut is now complete and uh, prior to this particular situation now there were all of the pieces standing up here in the blade. Um, during the process of the final cut, as the uh, blade, uh, sorry, as the uh, um, blade is making its way into the glass plate, you can actually see now that the uh, blades are in fact working their way into the glass plate. Now this is important because if we uh, don't go that far. Uh, it may very well be that you prematurely stop your cut. Here's a piece of the uh, mother of pearl that's just come off the slicing machine. You can see it would have been standing up originally on the glass block. Um, this cut did take uh, approximately six and a half hours uh, and you can see that this particular piece of mother of pearl, the width of this, or the depth of it is 35 mil. So it will give you some sort of an idea of what you need to be working to or what you can expect to cut in that period of time. You can see the materials uh, quite thin. Uh, it is actually quite transparent. Uh, you can see my fingers through it. Um, in fact you can probably even read writing through it. That's how transparent it is. So that's how thin it is. Um, and yet this material can be cut thinner again. So it just depends on the type of blade that you're going to use. Um, 